and welcome back to my channel. My name's Sarah. As you can tell from my background, Valentine's Day is fast approaching and every year I like to give a little gift to my girls. I have two daughters, Rosalie who is three and Maeve who is eight months. She'll be nine months by Valentine's Day. So I just like to put together a little gift basket for them. It's normally everyday things that we would use anyway and a few seasonal bits as well. So today I'm just going to show you what is in this year's gift basket. Here it is. So I'm just going to pull things out and go through it and then talk to you about them. The first thing, I'll go through their outfits. I've just got them some Valentine's Day outfits. The first outfit is for Rosalie. I bought this first and I actually bought it in the wrong size. I bought it in age four to five and she's obviously three. So this is going to be a bit big. So I think I'm going to send this one back. But I thought because I had it, I'd show it you anyway. It's six pound and it's from Georgia Asda. It's just like this pink dress with black hearts all over. I know that she'll wear this in her everyday wardrobe but anyway to preschool and stuff so yeah um, and it's quite cheap it's only six pound and it's a dress so it'll last her for quite a long time because it's like long tunic i can't decide whether to keep that one for next year or not this one is another tunic from asda this is six pound this is in her actual size in age three to four it's long sleeved and it's got this little peplum detail at the bottom again i think this is a dress so it, they last her a really long time um this is six pound and I would team this with leggings, either pink or black. Um, and the word, the letters spell I love you. So it's like I'll, there's an O, I, all the letters from I love you anyway, all over this dress. So yeah, I thought that was really nice. I couldn't work out for a long time what the letters were. And then when I realized it was I love you, I thought that was a really nice Valentine's gift or outfit to wear on the day. I got the cutest outfit for Maeve. I wish they did this in Rosalie's size because I would have got two of them, but they didn't. It was from H&M and it says, I love my dad. And it comes with this little hairband and matching, and matching spotty leggings. I mean, how cute is that? It's just, oh, she's gonna look so sweet. I got this in size nine to 12 months and this heart is a little pocket as well, which I think is a really nice touch. Yeah, this was on offer in H&M and it was only £5 for that whole set. So for the top, the leggings and the headband, which I thought was really good value. The next thing I got was this set of cupcakes. Rosalie loves baking. So this is just a little set to make some Valentine's cupcakes. We've got little heart cupcakes and little cupcake toppers to go on top she'll love this and she likes baking anyway so this will be a nice activity for us to do on valentine's day because valentine's day does fall on half term this year because i got quite a lot of things for rosalie i wanted to get something for me so i saw this in poundland i don't really they've got so many soft toys i don't like to keep buying them but when they're like only a pound um it's a little love bug i thought it was really cute a little like ladybird so yeah Maeve will have this and as I say it's only a pound so if it goes in the bin after a week it doesn't really matter. I just popped some shampoo and I'll show you the body wash as well. Body wash in there as well. I just picked these up in Poundland. Rosalie actually chose them because they both had frozen on. <laughs> Go figure. So yeah I just thought I'd pop them in the hamper as well. I got them a rose each and it was buy three for a pound. So these were 39p each or as I say buy three for a pound so I thought I'd get myself one too. Um, and they were from Card Factory, just like little pretend roses, but I thought they were quite cute. I got Rosalie this little light up heart. I wasn't going to buy this and then in the end I was like, oh, I'll just get it because I think it'll look quite cool on a little shelf by a bed. Just lights up like that. Can you see? And this was 99p from the Card Factory. I got them a lollipop each. I do realise that Maeve is only eight months old, so I'll probably end up eating hers. <laughs> But I got them one each and these were from Card Factory and they were 92MP. I also got Rosalie this little key ring. So it's got her name where it says Rosalie and it's just a heart crystal key ring. I got this from a random gift shop. So um, at a theme park we went to. So I'm not sure I will be able to. So I can't tell you where that was actually from but I will try and find it online and I'll link it down below if I can. All the items I can link will be down below in the description bar. So the last item I got in my Valentine's Day gift basket was this pack of love hearts. I thought these would be really good to go on top of the cupcakes we're gonna be making. I don't know, they're mini love hearts, so I don't know if they're individually wrapped or if they're just all in a bag. I haven't opened them yet. Um, and they're sealed, so I don't really want to, so I'll leave that till Valentine's Day. But yeah, it's just a little pack of love heart sweets. As I said, we'll probably use these to decorate the cupcakes and I'm sure Rosalie will eat a few too. 
everything in moderation I say. So that is the end of my Valentine's Day gift basket video. I hope you've enjoyed seeing what's inside the girls gift basket and if you're planning a gift basket this Valentine's Day I hope it gives you some ideas of gifts that you can give to the kids. If you do enjoy these gift baskets I do do them for like every season so there'll be an Easter one coming up then I do Halloween and Christmas. <laughs> so do subscribe to my channel and you'll be able to watch some more of those and you can go and watch my previous year's Valentine's Day baskets as well. I think I've done these for the last three years running every year of Rosalie's life so there's a few for you to catch up on. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!